Hello and welcome back to Super Mario Brothers 3. In the last episode, we did most of World 2 actually. And in this episode, we're going to go into this crazy looking pyramid. That's actually a, a, a pretty cool, pretty cool effect. I don't know what's wrong with me. I have like some kind of speech impediment. I keep stuttering, man. Oh fuck. Okay, well it doesn't matter, there's a leaf here anyway. This stage can be really confusing because it's kind of like a maze, um, which if you know me, I hate mazes. I don't think they're very amazing. Fuck. But if you know the way to go, if you have like a map or something, or if you use a walkthrough, what the? No, dude, what the hell? I wanted to get... Oh, well. I wanted to get those coins, but apparently the game does not want me to. And I don't think you can pick up uh, these guys' shells either, because I keep trying and it's not working. So I don't know what that's all about. We got Mr. Boomer Kwanger here. Oh, get fucked. Do you run faster if you're small? Because I feel like I shouldn't have been able to fill up my my P bar with that little amount of room. Okay, this one's the star, right. And the other one is where? Oh god. Right here? No, 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 no. The other one's up here. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? No! I knew where the other star was, I just didn't know where it was. <laughs> oh my god, oh it's terrible! The king has been transformed into... I don't even... What is that, a spider? It looks more like an insect. Well, no, it's got... What? He's got ten legs, so I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe a scorpion? Do scorpions have eight legs, like, including their pincers? Or do the pincers uh, not count as legs? Or, I mean the claws, or whatever they're called. I don't know. The scary-looking crab hands. Do those qualify as, as legs? Oh my god. Shit, I'm tempting fate right now really bad. Okay. Come to me! Come to me! Here we got all these screws. I don't know what these screws are doing. Also, I don't know how this how this airship is like physically possible. Um Shit. Okay, we got Monty Moles, I think these are. Also the game they originated in. Thank you, Mario 3. Everyone say thank you to the grandpappy of modern Mario. Sometimes there's a box here that'll give you like a, a power up or something, but I can never remember which airships are actually on. Here we have Morton Jr. I know this guy's name because he is really large and that makes him uh, easily identifiable. I know all the names of the Koopas. The thing is, I don't know how to tell some of them apart. Uh, like, there's there's Lemmy Koopa, and there's um, there's the other one with like the spiky hair. One of them has like green hair, and the other one has rainbow hair. I, okay, I think the one with green hair is Iggy, and the one no, the one with the green hair is Lemmy, and the one with the rainbow hair is Iggy. I think. I have no idea. Greetings! You can stop on your enemies using Kiribo's shoe. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. Again, uh, Princess, that's not really a jewel. That is a... That is clearly a cloud. Uh, it doesn't really qualify as a jewel. Also, uh, I have no idea what the fuck Kiribo's shoe is. That's a lie, actually. I know what Kiribo's shoe is, but it doesn't really make any sense. Uh, considering there's only one level in the game where you can find Kiribo's shoe, it's not even in this world. 
it's in world five um so i don't know why she is mentioning that now most of it's a recurring theme most of peach's letters don't make sense or sorry princess toadstool's letters don't really make any sense i think it's a translation thing maybe i have no idea here we are in world three i think this is called seaside or water world or something like that but it is a water world which is going to be very stressful because Mario is not the greatest at swimming. In fact, uh, controlling Mario in the water is somewhat difficult. Um, it's very difficult actually, and you got enemies like bloopers, which I hate. I hated them in Mario 1. I don't know if they are in Mario 2, but I hate them here too. They always suck really bad. Uh, these kelp seaweed things are kind of odd because sometimes they will like light up and when they light up they can hurt you uh, but I don't know like how often they light up because I haven't seen them light up yet and sometimes I know for a fact like almost for a fact at least that I have touched them while they were lighting up and it did not hurt me so I don't uh. and of course you got these cheap cheeps with their little babbies those can be annoying you gotta get through this before the guy shoots his sperm at you or is I don't know what those are like seeds pollen they, they kind of look like uh, those plants that smell like shit you know what I'm talking about I don't remember what they're called like the death flower or whatever find them in the jungle Vioplume is, you know, is one of the death flower things. Uh, okay. That wasn't so bad. I wish I had a fire flower, though. I could use the one I got from... Oh, nope. I don't even need to use it. Okay, so this... This is gonna be, like, the bane of my existence in World 3. These stupid cheap cheap levels where they jump out of the water and attack you. God! Oh, and there's mm, there's levels later on that legit scare me. Like, I don't get scared by video games, especially not Mario, uh, but those levels, they honestly make me jump. And you'll see, you'll see why. What the? Really? I did everything right, though. Like, what? My pee meter was full, as indicated in the bottom. And I hit it at just the right angle. I don't know what the hell was the matter with that. Okay, this toad house. Uh, whoa. Why is the fire green? That's interesting. Is that just the thing that it does in the toad house? Huh. Was it green earlier in the level? I don't know. This toad house, it uh, doesn't matter which box you pick, you always get a frog suit. Uh, the frog suit not the best power up in the world it's good like pretty much only for this world three uh otherwise uh it kind of sucks what it does is makes you really slow on land but really really fast in water and uh it makes the swimming controls a lot easier um so once you're out of world three really and there's no more water it's not really much use for it, so... It gets a lot of flack for being like one of the worst Mario power-ups. I like the frog suit though, I think it's really fun uh, when you can use it the right way. And that giant fish that you just saw is what I was referring to uh, when I was talking about the levels that scare me. That... Uh, I th I don't know if, that's an if this is an official name, but I think its name is Big Bertha. It was in Mario 64 too, and it scared me there too. Uh, but it jumps out of the water and tries to eat you. If it does, it's an automatic, uh, you, you automatically lose a life. You don't lose your power up or anything. If you're fire Mario, if you've got a raccoon tail, doesn't matter. If it eats you, then you die. Doesn't matter how many power ups you have. And uh, it can actually be quite scary, you know. Auto automatic death is is it's just scary in general, I guess. Uh, even scarier when there's a giant fish trying to murder you. 
Anyway, in the next episode of Mario Brothers 3, we are going to go to this fortress and uh, continue through World 3. I don't think we're going to finish it, but uh, who knows? We'll see. We'll see. I will see you then.